What is going on guys? Lies over here at Pondering Creations Farm coming at you with another video from the pond. We are hanging out today on the homestead and we are actually getting our gift shop all set up for our opening season. We have a book signing this weekend and next weekend we have our opening weekend. So I figured I was going to take you guys along and just give you a little tour because it's such a dream come true to be able to work from home really and have a beautiful gift shop with all local artists and all kinds of different farm products. So I'm gonna show you guys that. And, but first of course, we have to do some morning chores. So let's go do that. Morning guys. Have a good day, everyone. Okay, guys, welcome to Pondering Creations Farm. Here is the store. It's gonna give you guys a nice tour. I keep this place under lock and key because people trust me with lots of their stuff. And I still have some projects going on. We got a chair upside down here. I have a upholstery project going and I just finished this little desk, which I'm so excited so about. So here's the thing about starting a business at your house. It takes a little bit of money because there's a lot of stuff to invest in. And even though we do consignment for local artists, I mean, there's still a lot of stuff that I purchase. I just grabbed these from a local farm the other day. And pretty much everything was a mess from not being open for so long. And we were closed pretty much last year. We went down to one day a week just because of COVID. Nobody's coming out. So I'm hoping that we're going to be getting more shoppers this year. I mean, we've been doing this for years and last year just flopped. So... We will see what happens. I want you guys to comment down below if when you were younger, you used to want to have your own store. I mean, who hasn't thought about opening up a business at their house? It just seems so ideal. It's like work is right there and there's your house. It's just like commute to work. Uh, yeah, um, and it's great, but we did have to get a special policy for having people homeowners policy for like people to come here because we have the animals and just in case someone falls like while they're on your property just different regulations and I mean it takes a lot more time than you think to get everything set up and keep it clean especially with COVID I mean I just come in here with an aerosol cleaner and I've just been cleaning that way uh, but I also keep this place under lock and key, like I said, because we do consign a lot of different Connecticut artists. And I would never want anything to happen to any of their stuff. There are awesome perks, like when you're obsessed with seeds. Seed company here in Connecticut. And so I'm really excited to have these. Really great to be able to work for yourself and be creative and find other creative people to collaborate with and make your dreams come true. When we started this company, we actually already had a nice client base because we are an aquatic plant and fish farm and we install ponds. So now people can come and shop here for aquatic plants. For us guys, aquatic plants is really our main thing and we do fish also, but it's really the plants and the lilies and the lotus and all the marginals and we do only hardy stuff. Here is a look at our grow space. Everything got cut back and is really coming on now. And we did convert some of this to some gardens just so we could extend our growing season for the family. We were lucky enough that we had this old carriage house because I know different towns have different regulations and different states. So it's just nice that we were be able to have this and um, rezone it back farm because it once was a farm. So it was super simple for us, but there's actually a downstairs to this building where they used to keep the horses. This was where they kept the carriages and upstairs was a hayloft, which has been converted to an office. 
Another thing about having people at your house all the time for a business is we try to stay picked up. So like, this is kind of like our mobile smoker unit. And while we do set it up here, it's normally out back because we just don't really want people to see it. <laughs> so we have like a caravan type smoker. There's always little administrative parts like making signs and you know, paperwork that you don't think of that take up a lot of time too. And it's definitely nice to supplement our income with things like photo shoots and book signings. And we've actually done small weddings here and just little events to help us just get through. So guys, we are a little bit all over the place on our channel just because I only do a weekly video and we are a little bit busy here with different things, whether it's homesteading or the business and the store and also the landscape business, which is like our main thing and we're full on right now. I'm actually, I'm waiting for a delivery right now from FedEx, like a big freight delivery that I'm gonna have to unload. And I'm thinking they might be here. So if you're thinking about opening up a business at your property, just make sure you check into the insurance and just the different regulations through the town. Even if it's just a little farm stand, they just have different rules, especially about like putting sounds, signs by the road. You a lot of times have to go through zoning for all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I definitely encourage you guys to do it because it is great. And I do think that people shopping locally is the way to go. So good luck. During the summer months, we do snacks and ice cream, and people really love to sit by the pond and be able to just have a nice cold treat. Even though we have business hours posted, we do have a privacy chain, we call it, and we put it across the driveway because sometimes on like days off, like on Mondays when it's a holiday especially, people just show up assuming that we're open even though we're there that we're not. So just for privacy reasons with having a business on your property, like just having good boundaries about like when you're open and when you're not and being able to like stick to those is definitely a good thing. So just be aware of that. An issue we're running into this year is actually public facilities because we used to just get a portalette for a couple of months out of the year, but this year those the prices of those have skyrocketed. So I really wanted an eco-friendly option. Um, so we're looking into building an outhouse, but that's just definitely another thought that you need to really think about if you're going to have a business on your property. For us, it becomes more of an issue when we're doing events like yoga classes and the watercolor classes by the pond and more like art stuff where people are here for maybe a couple of hours. So if you're local to Connecticut, I hope you guys are able to stop by the store this season and visit the farm. And if not, just keep following our videos. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our landscape series. That's going to be fun. And you'll be able to see lots of different pondscapes from all around Connecticut. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.